Hi guys, so for today's video I'm going to be reviewing one of these straightener brushes that have been, I don't know, coming up lately. Maybe I'm kind of late, I don't know. But the brand that I have is Simply Straight. I don't know where I got it, my mom bought it, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just going to show you what it looks like to straighten hair like this if you have hair like mine, which is really, really curly and thick. I have really Spanish hair. It's kind of more difficult to straighten. So yeah, I'm going to do a comparison. So I'll do this side with the brush straightener, and I'll do this side with my regular straightener, which is a Chi. I don't know the name of it. But yeah. So I hope you guys find this video helpful, and if you want to see how it works, then just keep watching. That was so weird. Did you see that? Alright, so this is what my hair looks like when it's completely dried and nothing in it. I washed it last night, and let it dry overnight, but this is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna divide my hair. I usually start at the bottom. And I make sure that my hair is completely detangled. Wow, I look so bad. But whatever. Okay, so I have the heat setting on 401 because I have really thick Spanish curly hair so I'm hoping that this works because I like to straighten my when I straighten my hair I use a brush anyway and like I go with it so that it keeps my hair detangled and every piece is straight. So hopefully this works out because it's a brush and a straightener. So let's see how it goes. I don't even know how I'm gonna use it. Hopefully it also straightens my hair quick. So I mean it's not so bad, I just hate that it's on a really high heat setting and it's not making my hair like really really straight. Alright, so I feel like that's good. I feel like the only way for it to work is if you hold it tightly against the brush. Like, like you can't just brush your hair and expect it to become straight. Sorry I haven't been looking like directly on camera because I'm looking at the mirror. But yeah. So you have to like hold it against your hair in order for it to be straight. It's not super great, but I feel like my under eyes are super white today. Alright, I like that you can get like really close to your scalp and not burn yourself. I'm like scared to put it at a higher heat. Like if you're Spanish, you know you gotta really like focus on your ends. I find that like wrapping it around helps a lot better. There's like a piece of not straightening. Alright, so this is what it looked like. I'm not really loving it. I don't know. It's... Mm -mm. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and straighten this side with the straightener that I always use. I have a Chi. I don't know what it's called. But I think it's the only one that has like this kind of thing on it that lights up with like different colors. And I usually put it on 395. Alright, so usually when I straighten my hair, it takes me about an hour. If it's wet. If it's dry, it'll take me like 45 minutes. So, let me see, it was not. And I use brushes when my hair is dry. Like, I don't use this when my hair is wet because I think on my hair when it's wet, I use a uh, a white tooth comb. So yeah, I like to start, start it off and like run my brush through it. Go down and straighten it as it brushes my hair. Kind of the same as the. Alright, so just look at the difference. Like this side is the straightener side, this side is the straightener brush side. And like just look at my ends, I don't know if you can see it, but on this side they look much, much better and well kept and on this side it's like disgusting. Like, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and fix this side of my hair. This side also was a lot quicker 
but I'm gonna go ahead and fix my hair. Alright, so I fixed my hair and I'm definitely sticking to my straightener. If you are someone who has hair like me, where it's thick and curly and hard to tame, then I would suggest not going for this. I mean, I would use this as a last resort. Like, if I had nothing else to straighten my hair with, I would use this. But, I don't, I don't really like it. I feel like this is more suitable for people with thinner hair, where their hair is already kind of straight, but they like it a little bit straighter. Um, maybe it's the brand that I got, I'm not sure, but I really didn't. I didn't like it. The only thing that was good was that there was like really, it was really hard for you to burn yourself. And it did a good job of like getting close to your scalp, but when it came towards the end, there was like no way to like, you know, support your hair for it to be straight because you kind of have to like push against the brush, which I don't know, when I first saw this, I thought like literally you would brush your hair and go straight. But it's kind of like a straightener, like you have to like hold your hair and like, if you want it to look semi okay. But like, if you have hair like me and you want to have that effect where like, it's like completely detangled, every single hair straightened, then I suggest doing the method that I do, where I just grab a hair and then straighten as I go down, because that really, really works for me. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. So yeah, make sure to follow me on social media. Okay, so that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.